Tank and Shakur Stevenson definitely got the fight to make. You sparred them both, correct? Yes. As far as with Shakur in the ring, I know we've talked about you sparring Tank before. As far as Shakur in the ring, what's what's the thing that that you learned about Shakur maybe the first time you, you sparred him? And what did you learn about yourself the, that first sparring with Shakur? Shoot. First time I sparred Shakur, I was like 14 years old and he was 16. I can just remember, I underestimated him for sure, because just how he looked. You know, I, where I come from, like, I come from like, sort of like the South, so like, like we kind of like different down there. So when I see him, like, I didn't I didn't really take him serious, as everybody else did, because he was the, like the attention and image, you know what I'm saying? So the first time I sparred him, he surprised me, like uh, how good he was and how tough he was, you know what I'm saying? And he told me the same exact thing. But, I didn't really, me being so younger than him, he took it more than I took it because, I don't know, I, I just didn't care. I, like, I didn't care at all, and that's, I guess that's why he took it to me so much, you know what I'm saying? So, that first time spar, I just, we just we clicked for real, like in character, you know what I'm saying? And then like in boxing, we learned each other, so, support, support my brother. That's awesome, that's a great story. It sounds like, uh, sounds like it was great work. Did, did, did maybe you, is that maybe some of the experience you got from before is maybe I gotta bring we gotta care a little bit more? Is that maybe like something you, you got in that being that he cared a little bit more uh, in, during that time like you said? I can say I can say that because like when we spar, we can we'll stop in the middle of in a spar and talk and then get back to sparring. We capitalize on each other's mistakes. So spar can be that much harder for each other and so we can still get better, you know what I'm saying? But we're not doing that with everybody else. You know what I'm saying? We're not giving everybody the ribbon, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I could definitely say that. That's awesome. Just making each other better. Arbor sharing iron, uh, iron, iron sharing iron, right? Right, exactly. Keyshawn, it was great seeing you, man. Just lastly, what's uh, the latest for you? When can we see you back? What's, what's going on? Yes, sir. Uh, you can see me back in July. I'll be back in July, man. Okay. I'll be back in July. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hopefully you give me good news. I'm going to be out there, so hopefully. It's going to be a great opponent. It's going to be a great showing. Yeah, I know the business, man. Always putting on great shows. I'm in the business as always, man. Shout out DB3. My brother Kelvin Davis going to be back in July again. You know DB3 be going up. Shout out Keon Davis. Getting prepared to get to the, go to the Olympics. Olympic trials this year. DB3 going crazy this year, man. Shout out DB3, the whole DB3. July. Just lastly, man, I just realized Teofimo Lopez, you know, had some words on the interview. Uh, I don't know. What's, what was your opinion on, uh, on Teofimo comments uh, uh, I don't I don't do too much of what he, what he had said you didn't, you didn't hear it? he said something about uh, top rank can have the black fighters if they want the black fighters they can have them they, some, something like that it seemed like he was kind of referencing obviously the promotion with Devin Haney Shakur yourself I feel like they're pushing you you know pretty good bringing you along very well yeah. but I think that's what he was referencing oh uh, well it's really just an opinion for real uh I know I had tweeted something like, man, if you feel like they're promoting us, then we'll try to fight us. At the end of the day, if you want to be one of these guys, then put yourself in the mix. Fight us. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like, that's what I would do. If, if, if just like they had the Four Kings or they had all these other lightweights. Honestly, the fans was putting me in the mix, but I created my own voice to start putting my own self in the mix. And now, you know, I'm creating fights for myself. So, see a few more, man, if you feel that way, I mean, put yourself in the mix, like, fight us. So it sounds like short and sweet. But he, got a, he, got, he got a good fight coming on Josh Taylor, though, so shout out to them, too, man. That's going to be a hell of a fight for the division, hell of a fight for boxing, man. I'm excited for that fight. I'm glad those two fighters took that fight. Shout out to them, too. How does that go? Uh, Josh Taylor, man. Josh Taylor, a dog, man. Josh Taylor, a dog, man. You know what I'm saying? And those two on their best day. You know what I'm saying? I still get the Josh Taylor on their worst day. I still get Josh Taylor, you know what I'm saying? So, man, Josh Taylor, man. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Thank you so much, Keisha. I appreciate you, brother.